Brent, best in class fundamentals, you say? Uh, they certainly do have a lot of loyal customers who have a lot of money to spend. Yeah, I think Snowflake has the chance to become a, a really important pillar like Salesforce has in the front office or Workday in the back office, Amazon and infrastructure. The, the data cloud is a huge opportunity. We're swimming in all this information, trying to make sense of, of what the data is. And for companies that may end up going into economic duress, they're going to want to act quicker and, and see that information. And so we think Snowflake has a, a phenomenal opportunity uh, this has been run by, uh, as you highlighted, Frank Slootman and Mike Scarpelli, who are proven co-pilots uh, running ServiceNow, you know, in creating that infrastructure to create a $100 billion cap. This is a, you know, half that market cap of ServiceNow. And so we think the opportunity is equal, if not bigger than ServiceNow. So for long-term investors, great opportunity. I'm not trying to call the bottom here. I think ultimately the, we still have some duress in, in software valuations and in fundamentals, and we don't really know exactly what the recession's going to look like. So we're, we're highlighting the downside of 100, but over time, I think you know there's parallels to say this could be a market cap that could look like uh, ServiceNow, and that's twice what, what Snowflake's market cap is today. Downside scenario, 100 bucks a share. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I think, you know, when you think about okay. really high quality, real high quality uh, software stories, John, you, you, you know, you, you can get to, you know, a, a eight to 10 times forward revenue and, and that would put you closer to a hundred dollars uh, on the stock. So the downsides, you know, a hundred and we saw, you know, the stock go in, you know, a lot lower. So I've been very clear with clients. We're not trying to bottom take. What we're trying to say is we've never recommended the stock. We've never had a buy on it. We've been disciplined. The stock was at 400, it's now sub 150. So uh, we think ultimately for larger institutional investors to stay, start to take uh, a look, this is a name that's highly shorted by our hedge fund clients. Um, the shorts worked. Uh, and ultimately I, I, I'm not suggesting that it's not gonna continue to work in the short term, uh, You know that there is some downside here. But I think again, for long-term investors looking at a three to five year horizon, uh, we think the stock's going to be higher over time. You know, Brent, the, the note is, is fascinating. You say fundamentals remain rock solid. Uh, to what degree is that taking into account uh, any hesitation uh, among clients to buy more or even, uh, or even renew uh, their business? Yeah, Carl, there's going to be uh, some, some concern. I mean, they highlighted this in the last call. There was a big consumer-facing internet company that slowed their consumption and that they are a consumption model, right? The more times you hit enter on Snowflake, they get paid on consumption of doing queries into their system. So uh, companies theoretically can slow uh, that consumption and that their model is under duress. It's not like Salesforce.com where we know it's a $3 million bill every single year for the next three years. Um, and so that consumption model in an economic storm, if again, if it comes in hard and, and we have a bigger headwind on the economy, uh, that certainly can hurt the consumption models in the short term. That's a primary concern. And we're not uh, you know, trying to fly under the radar on it. We're, we're, we're addressing it head on that it, it can be a concern. But I think as we come out of this and in, in the position of the company, uh, they remain in a in a phenomenal uh, spot uh, as it relates to one of the key pillars that that we think is going to have long term attention from large enterprises. As Frank highlighted, yeah. this is a large enterprise play. This is not an SMB play.